We need a mystery solved. Go, Scooby Doo Mobile! Anyway, guys, welcome back to more Trauma Team. This mystery is getting absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. We learned that there is a huge possibility that Alma killed her daughter. For what reason? I don't know. But we also don't know if that's okay. If that's the case. If Abigail was killed by Alma, then who killed Alma is my question. That's what I want to know. This can't be mere coincidence. Same killer. No. Who killed Alma? Who did the actual murder? It was Alma, like... Okay, there's no need for me to... I need to know more. Could I have done that the whole time? Uh, Dr. Kimishima, the results of our analysis have come out. How long have I had that piece of glass? Could I have done that the whole time? Good. Which analysis was this? Something else was detected in the residue. Well, what is it? We've detected traces of benzodiazepine in the wine. Benzodiazepine? Isn't that used in sleeping pills and anti-anxiety medication? That's right. It seems to have been mixed in with the wine. Hmm. Little guy, was there any benzodiazepine found in Alma's body? No, why? The results of the drug test came up with a negative on that. That's all right. I just wanted to make sure that she wasn't the one taking it. Okay. I am so confused. So, if we believe that Alma is the one that killed Abigail, then Alma put the sleeping medication into the wine. The one who drank it was Joseph? Yes, her husband Joseph. What do you mean? Are you saying That's right. Alma tried to kill Joseph as well. What? What? Why? But, Dr. Kimishima, isn't that just... The weapon left a bruise on her palm. That is proof that she used the weapon. But she was killed by that same weapon. That's true. Let's stay calm and think this through. We have evidence that there was a struggle between Joseph and Alma, don't we? That is... The blood on Alma's sleeve. Indeed. The blood stains are quite likely from when Joseph was injured and grabbed Alma's wrist during the struggle. Then did Joseph kill Alma during that fight? I'm just saying that this is one conjecture we could make. But there's no motive. The family reportedly got along well. Little guy, where is Mr. Parker right now? Huh? He's still being detained. Good. Tell him something. Tell him we found the weapon Mrs. Parker was using inside the clock. All right, I'll do that. Where are you going, Dr. Kimishima? I'm going back to the murder scene. I want to find Alma's motive. This skin juicy. Very juicy. Oh, Dr. Kimishima, can I bother you for a moment? What's the matter? HQ contacted me just a moment ago. It seems Joseph Parker has a message for you. The victim's husband? But why? I don't know. I'll send the recording over to you right now. This message is for whoever is investigating my case. I don't know who you are, but I'm impressed by your skills. Go to my house and check above the fireplace. My wife's diary should be behind the stones. You must already know that I can't stand. So that's the only thing I couldn't get rid of. If you read it, you might find out what my wife was truly feeling. Please, make use of that information. That's it. Did you get all that, Dr. Kimishima? I heard every word. I'll have to check above the fireplace. Above the fireplace, behind the stones. This must be it. Alma's diary is in here? Here it is. I should take it back to the office and go through it. 
wonder what's in that diary. Because whatever it is, her motive is in there. Oh, Dr. Kimishima, can you spare a moment? I do if it's about the case. Well, of course it is. Uh, Alma Parker's autopsy is about to begin. Hmm. Good. I hope they find something. Yes. And regarding the results from the auto-imaging scan, a tumor has been found in Alma Parker's prefrontal lobe. A tumor? Yes. It's about five centimeters in diameter, and it seems to have been causing CVD. Cerebral vascular disorder. If that's so, then... Yes, well, even if she hadn't been killed, she didn't have much time left. That's not the point. Tumors in the prefrontal lobe cause visual and auditory hallucinations. There's the chance that this may explain her strange behavior. What? Wait, so you think this is related to the case? I found Alma's diary above the Parker's fireplace. What? Then Joseph was... He was telling the truth. Reading this may tell us more. I write this diary giving thanks to the mountains and to the flowing waters. My headaches continue today. That bruise seems to have gotten bigger, too. Should I see a doctor? A bruise? What is she referring to? The black bruise on her right palm. That's right. She was still alive when she got that bruise on her hand. I write this diary giving thanks to the mountains and to the flowing waters. A miracle happened today. I can barely believe it. I heard God's voice, beautiful and pure. The bruise on my hand is a sigil passed on to me by God himself. I see. Well, I'm no theologian, but I doubt this was a revelation from God. What happened to her was caused by... <sighs> Having auditory hallucinations. Right. Her experience was likely caused by the tumor in her prefrontal lobe. She interpreted the whispers of her disease as the voice of the Creator. I write this diary giving Damn. thanks to the mountains and to the flowing waters. Today I heard a shocking premonition. We were walking the path against God's divine will. My pain was inflicted on me as a punishment and a warning to me and my family. I cannot let this be. I must save my family. <sighs> I write this diary, giving the preparation. Not hearing that again. Made. I will become the beast of the Lord and lead my loving family. Oh my I will God. sever them from this world and engrave the sigil upon their bodies too. Abby, my little girl, I willingly become the beast so I can save you. Beast of the Lord. That explains the fur. I write this diary. I learned a terrible truth today. My little Abby never reached his side. It's my fault. I severed her connection before engraving the sigil. Ah, oh, my loving daughter. Please forgive your mother for being so foolish. Joseph will be saved. I will engrave his sigil and lead his soul. I'll make sure it won't hurt. Joseph, let us be reunited in his world. The diary ends here. Alma died after writing this. The sigil that she says she engraved onto her daughter is... The wound. That's right. Alma thought the black bruise on her hand appeared as a holy sign. That's why she thought she was saving her daughter's soul using the same pattern. She also planned to do the same to her husband. When she said she'd make sure it won't hurt, she meant... Sleeping pills. Indeed. This diary answers a number of the questions we've had regarding this case. Uh, it's all coming together. All of it, it's coming together. 
Until this point, I had thought that Alma and Abigail had been killed by the same person. But now it's clear who killed Abigail. And yet, there are several things found at the crime scene that could not have been Alma's doing. I need to review the information we have to determine if these murders were committed by the same person. I knew they weren't committed by the same person. Damn. That's crazy. Hey, little guy. I have something else that I need you to analyze for me. You do? I thought we've already been through everything. Hmm, it's more that I want you to sort through what we know. Alma wore the mask and the fur when she killed Abigail. However, Alma couldn't have done everything herself. For example... The death that Alma could not be behind was herself. Yes. Alma didn't stab herself, and there were obvious attempts to hide evidence after Alma's death. One such piece of evidence is... Burning the mask and the fur. Yes. Someone tried to destroy the costume Alma wore in the fireplace. Another piece is... Hiding the murder weapon. Indeed. The weapon Alma is believed to have used was hidden inside the clock. Only one person was able to do this. Yes. Now we can finally see everything that happened in this case. So Joseph did kill Alma. He just didn't mean to. He was just protecting himself. Oh boy. That's crazy. I knew this case took a like a really it twisted this case was really good like it really twisted everything what you would think and like turned it all around and made you think completely different to what you were what the expectations were it's this was a really good case the dead shall speak let's put together the truth of what happened here In a way, you could say Alma Parker is the first victim. She had a gigantic tumor within her prefrontal lobe. The conditions caused by the tumor changed her. This card has the evidence of that. Yes, she believed her hallucinations were divine visions. Parting with the world, her beloved daughter was first. It was that same love that led to Alma's attack. This card proves the violence Alma carried out on her Abigail. around anymore it's time to get serious indeed she put on a mask and fur then killed her that's why Abigail failed to recognize her own mother instead she kept screaming in order to warn Alma away Abigail's last words are proof of that After the murder, Alma tried to guide her child's soul. The proof of that is on this card. This is likely what Mrs. Bowen witnessed. But Alma thought she had failed to save Abigail's soul. In order to guide the soul to its rightful place, Alma thought the sigil needed to be applied before death. So she made careful preparations for Joseph's murder. The evidence of that is shown on this card. Yes. 
Yes, but this plan failed to work. Joseph woke from the pain and struggled with her in a panic. This card tells us the evidence of that. Alma wore the mask and fur again to kill her husband. That's why Joseph didn't know it was Alma attacking him. He desperately caught her hand, resisting her. And in the ensuing struggle, they fell, stabbing Alma. When Joseph removed his attacker's mask, he realized... <sighs> it was first thought that both cases had the same murderer. But with so many mysteries solved, I know that can't be. This is the card with proof of the reason why that is. I can't mess around anymore. It's time to get serious. Fucking kidding me. Like, really? Oh my god. Yes. After Alma's death, someone erased evidence of her guilt. No matter how it was done, it couldn't have been Alma. And so, the truth of this card is brought to light. This person wanted to hide Alma's crimes. First, her costume was destroyed in the fireplace. The weapon she used was hidden within a clock in the house. Another knife was used to make Alma seem like a victim. This card shows who took this effort to exonerate Alma. Joseph knew Alma was not a woman who could commit murder. Her bizarre acts were a result of her brain tumor. Even then, she still loved her husband and cared about him. Her final words are proof of that. This is the truth behind how her life's light was put out. Naomi, you have a call from Mr. Parker. Yes. I was just thinking about visiting you. All right. I'll be there soon. Will you be all right? If you think there's any danger. Chief, what do you think love is? A true love in which each thought of the other to the end. That may well have been the integral part of this case. it's any good. <laughs> Alma always made coffee. Thank you. My wife. She was the best companion a man could hope for. Even when I was stubborn or angry, she still loved me. Mr. Parker, it's my duty to uncover the truth. I understand. You loved her. 
even if you'll be misunderstood and branded a killer, you wanted to hide the fact that Alma tried to kill you. I'd... I'd be better off if she had killed me. There's absolutely no way she'd kill me without a cause. She... She must have had some reason for what she did. Please, if it ends like this, Alma will be known as a lunatic. You have to find out what truly happened to my wife. Please! Yes, I will. That's my duty. Death comes to everyone. <laughs> I'm a little jealous. Oh, there you are, Dr. Kimishima. I was looking for you. I see. What do you want? Uh, I, uh, have the report from the Oxford autopsy. Tell me all about it, right now. Ah, uh, right. Um, her brain tumor was kind of... Well, strange. Strange? Could you be any more vague? Were you actually present at the autopsy? Well, yes, but... It was a condition I've never seen. The tissue around the tumor was black. Nobody knows why. Black? The same as with Veronica. Remove that tumor. I'll have a friend at Resurgum check it. And I want the death certificate made by the end of the day. <laughs> you want me to do all that? No excuses. Get to it right now. Uh, I'm on it. Veronica's death. An old woman losing her mind. What in the world is going on? And that ends third case in the next episode we are going to let me check real quick my notes here um, in the next episode we are going to we're gonna be going to Maria Maria's third or her second I should say, her second operation, which is Maximum Annoyance. We're going to do that in the next episode, guys, so thank you so much for watching. This episode of Trauma Team, I'll see you guys next time.